Leo sighed. As much as she hated it, he was right. Before she could think of something to say, a phone rang. Saul fumbled for the ever-present cell in his pocket, but it wasn't his. The tones of Aretha Franklin's call me drifted over. Few people had Leo's number. She hadn't heard her own ringtone in so long that it took her a few seconds to react. Thankful to escape the discussion and get a moment to think about how to answer Saul, she moved to get up. But he was already waving at his assistant. Get that, will you? He turned back toward her. We're in the middle of an important discussion. This can wait. She sank back down. He was right. She had told him she needed a break before the world tour she had just wrapped up, but apparently she hadn't gotten her point across. This time she had to get through to him. She needed one month away from it all or she'd go crazy. The assistant put down his clipboard, picked up her cell phone from the dressing table and slipped out of the room to take the call outside. But before she could get anywhere with Saul, the young man was back, holding out the phone with a helpless expression on his face. Saul glared at him. That better be the president of the NFL wanting her to sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. The assistant gulped audibly. Uh, no, it's some woman. I didn't catch her name. She says she wants to talk to a Leontine. He pronounced it to rhyme with Valentine, as if he hadn't paid any attention to the way the woman on the phone must have pronounced it. Leontine, Leo automatically corrected. Um, yeah, I think that's what she said. I told her she's got the wrong number, but she insists... She waved her fingers at him. Give me that phone. The assistant hurried around the glass table and handed it over. A woman asking for Leontine could only be one person. She braced herself. Mom? Saul's assistant gaped at her. What, had he thought she had been grown in a lab with no parents? Leontine? It was her mother's voice. A lump lodged in her throat. They hadn't talked in five years, so if her mother was calling her now, something must have happened. Yes, what's wrong? I was wondering if... Do you have... Her mother gulped in a breath of air. I would really like you to come home. What? Come home? Saul's eyes widened. He urgently shook his head. Absolutely not, he said, probably loud enough for Leo's mother to hear. This isn't a good time for family visits. You're supposed to lay tracks for your next album. Leo stuck her finger in her ear to drown him out. Maybe I can come visit next. I really think you should come see your father now, her mother cut in. He had a stroke. 